Hi, this is Jody from Poppy Winkle, and last week I showed you how I got to this point in my collage journey. Um, nothing at this point is permanent. Everything is kind of down with just a little um, double-sided sticky tape, and I can change it. I feel like this part is good, and I'm going to start working on this part. I've only added two stickers here, but I had to come back on and talk about it because I added this one and I added this one. In both, case, I, both cases, I inked around the edges because I didn't like the white showing through on the stickers like this. And with this one, I just used some brown ink because it was all sorts of different colors. And with this one, I used my new trick, which I shared in the last video, but I've got to share it again because it's so good. So if you take a marker on your dauber and put it down there, now these are alcohol markers and they dry up fast. So I think other markers would work better. But anyway, look at this. That's just a gray and that is enough to take that that white look away on the edges and just blend it all in. Isn't that amazing? So I have I have so few inks. I, I have maybe three different, no, may, maybe six different shades of ink. And to be able to, ah, I'm so excited. To be able to ink anything now, you know, with a color that matches is very exciting. So had to share that. And the reason I'm putting these stickers on is because I find this washi tape <laughs> to be a little much as I suspected. And so I'm just strategically covering it up. Next thing I did was I added this guy, another big bird, kind of in the same diagonal as this one. And I didn't ink around it just like I didn't ink around that one. But that made me have to move my fish up. And so I connected him to this and that's working for me. So here I added four things, some rickrack, a sticker, another sticker here, and the butterfly on this diagonal. Now out of all of them, the only one I'm committed to in any way is this one right here. And I, um, these kind of stickers, I happen to know stick like violently, like as soon as you put them down, they stick. And so, um, I didn't un, I didn't take the back off. I just use, use some double-sided tape there to put that down to test it, you know, cause I'm, I'm never really wanting to commit to anything. Uh, same, you know, same with all of these. None of these are stuck. I just put these, this thing under the two stickers here and here, but I do like it because it connects, it, it, it com continues my border here. Um, so this, this page part was going down. And like I said, I would, I would line it up here. If I were to stick it permanently, I'd line it up along this page edge and just tuck it under these two stickers to connect them. This I think is too big. I didn't even bother to ink it or anything or try to make it work. And also it interrupts this diagonal, which I liked. So I'm going to say no to her. If she were smaller, I don't know, whatever. It, I don't think that's working. This, this I think could work as a background. You know, just keep it here, connect, connect, connect. So there's a nice little diagonal of connection. And then, uh, like probably put something over top of it to go into here. So that the, I think these two are working this, this might not committed to anything, but that's where we are. So I'm still uncommitted to the Rick rack. It's just hanging out there. I fully committed to this. I, I like this once I tucked it under this sticker. So I pulled this sticker up a little bit and tucked it under and it now connects 
a little diagonal here. Bang, bang, bang. I like that. And then, and of course, yeah, I'm happy with the butterfly there too. Um, and then I figured out this guy gives gives a, a nice vertical line, right? Bang, 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 bang. But also a nice diagonal. Whoop, watch feet. Along with these guys. So, okay, now we're moving. So, I, I enjoyed this very much. The up and down and the diagonal. But I didn't like it where it was. So I moved it over. That kind of gives some interest here to these two very similar things. And that caused me to get rid of my beloved butterfly up here. And so I'm going to put it down here somewhere. So, woo, so now, now things are starting to take shape. There's definitely going to have to be something tucked under this guy. And probably tucked under this guy. So now we're closing in on it. I'm I'm gonna want to ink this guy because I I'm not oh broke it. I'm not gonna want the um the white to show because on purpose I'm showing the white on these stickers. I don't know why. Just I know I'm gonna I'm not gonna want the white to show there. Um, brought this butterfly back over the top of this stem because it looks better. Like if you put it under, if you put it under, it's not, it's not working. So definitely has to be over. And that's not what I thought. Um, and then here I did a little square under my fishtail connected to my other square. And then to connect this whole page, I did a circle. So, and then I'm thinking this, this butterfly looks good right about there. So ooh, it's happening. So in that last segment, I think I forgot to mention this. I did a rectangle horizontal going here with a little, a little circle to echo this. And it all connects here. And that's working. That's working for me. And then I think I want... I think I want something here. So what has become obvious to me at this point is this side is too heavy. Right? It's all over here. And not over here. And so I'm, I'm going to eliminate this and put, put one without the inking. So the white shows just like the white and the white show here. I'm going to take my fish away. Not permanently. He'll be back, I'm sure. And I'm going to stick this here somewhere. I want the up and, no, where do I want the, I want the up and down and I want the diagonal somewhere along here. That's not quite up and down. Yeah. Because I want it to touch here. I want the diagonal kind of, uh, I might have to fiddle with that. But I want the up and down, and I want the diagonal, but I want it over on this side now. So now it's not like bang, bang, bang. It's bang, bang, bang. I like that better. Sometimes I cut stickers in half lengthwise because I like to line them up against the edges. And so I had a half a sticker here of a flower. And so I like that. I, I stuck that under my birds thing. And I like that. And then this, this was heavy over here with all that blue. And so I think I'm going to put this kind of washi tape sticker here, which is, you know, once I put it down, it's going to be muted. And it's got my little up and down, which I like. 
yeah. So I've added this butterfly connecting this piece and this piece and I put a third uh, what's that called? Reinforcement here. So one, two, three. And I, I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to sit on it. This is my rough draft. This is my rough draft. We're going to look at it tomorrow. We'll see what we like. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you another rough draft that how I worked on it after the fact. Here's a collage I made yesterday, and I considered it my rough draft. I didn't decoupage over it and permanently put anything down, and I'm really glad I didn't, even though I loved it at the time. As soon as I looked at it this morning, I saw this fish on the diagonal, and I didn't like that. What I was trying to do was I was trying to go along the edge of this pop-up here, but I want it to be horizontal as opposed to whatever that was before. And so since I didn't decoupage and permanently put it down, I can put this on the horizontal where I want it. And I also saw a few little spaces. This piece up here is a little, a little lacking. I wanted a little more, I like the way these looked, these, these sh these straight pieces. I didn't put this on either yet. <laughs> I like these straight pieces and so I wanted a, just a couple more a couple more in and around here. This part looks a little boring. I'm going to stick something there. Maybe over here. See I'll peel that sticker up since we're not decoupaged. We're good. And one more just over here somewhere. Like that. So now, now I'm feeling a little better about it. I might decoupage it today or I might, I might wait another day. So here we are back to this one. It's the day after I finished my rough draft and I changed a few little things. I turned this instead of on a diagonal. Now it's up and down. And I added this little sticker here. Everything, I committed to all these things. I put everything down solid, glued it all down, and I added a butterfly here. Oh, and I brought my fish back and put it down here. And then I put a stamp down here, my, a date stamp of when I finished it, and it smeared and it wasn't very dark. And then I remembered I had these, these rub-on, this is from Tim Holtz. These are rub-on stickers, but they give such a nice, bold black. And I'll put a link to them because they're, they're amazing. They give a nice, bold black, much nicer than stamping, and they go, all, they go over every surface. So it, even the bumpiness doesn't matter that they're on two different levels. And this was shiny, and so this kind of smeared, the stamping smeared, but these don't smear. They go on any any shiny stick um, sticker here, so they're, they're very cool. And so I think that added so much. And so I'm going to call this finished and put a layer of decoupage on it just so nothing peels up. And thanks for watching.